There's really nothing better than fresh produce grown at home in the backyard garden. But you want to make sure that you harvest your vegetables properly and at the right time. So with beans and peas, you want to go out on a daily basis after you notice that the plants are blooming because those pods will be forming shortly after. And you'll know when they're ready to harvest when the pods are long and full, they're not short and flat. Leafy greens are great plants to grow in the garden for their nutritional value, but they're also really easy to grow and very easy to harvest. You want to get yourself a good pair of scissors or, or pruners and just come out uh, and harvest what you'll eat in a short amount of time. Leave the rest in the garden to come back and harvest later. Your broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, uh, these are all plants that will form a, a head on them and of course you want to get the largest head possible but especially with broccoli you don't want to wait too long. If you wait too long the plants will blossom and you've lost that produce. When you harvest your tomatoes uh, they should be bright red. Of course they can ripen on the shelf or in a windowsill if you pick them a little early but when you harvest them to lengthen their shelf life you want to harvest the tomato with the stem attached and that will help the tomato keep longer. If you get an early freeze and your plants are still full of green tomatoes, if you dig it up, hang it upside down, and those tomatoes will ripen right there on the plant. For more information about food preservation, nutrition, food safety, you can check out the Extension website. This is Chris Hilgert, University of Wyoming Extension, from the ground up.